my name is Francesca Lamarja. I'm the founder of Mother Tongues and I'm an SCI ORD. Mother Tongues is a social enterprise working in the area of multilingualism and interculturalism. We work primarily in the fields of education, supporting teachers, but also families to find out more about the benefits of children growing up with two or more languages. And we also support organizations who are willing to become more open to multilingualism. So when I first set up Mother Tongues, I had an idea about what I wanted. I didn't really know how the full journey would develop over the years. And I was open to changing and adapting to the needs of the communities we were serving, but also I wasn't aware of all the different ways in which we could bring about a solution. And I think what's, cha what's changed over the years is this awareness of the change we make in people's lives, being able to see it, being able to measure it and to take back also not only the, the difficulties, which we're all aware of, you know, it's not always easy to be a social entrepreneur, having um, a real desire to bring about change. In real time, sometimes there's a feeling that you're not doing enough maybe, and that you could be doing so much more. So I think one of the things that I've learned along the way is to make the most of the moments when we actually see how deeply we're changing people's lives. I was on my own and I suppose the first step was getting people to understand what it is that I wanted to change and getting people on board who believed in the same core values and also, and I don't mean only staff or volunteers, but also people who are some of the other stakeholders, for example, parents, school leaders, community activists, we're all sharing many of our goals and mission. And they provided not only the support from an emotional sense to kind of get us going and keep the motivation going, but also were a good sounding board for the organization throughout the advice I would give to a social entrepreneur would be to not lose motivation, to not be put off by the many barriers that there are, starting from financial barriers sometimes or time limitations, and to um, focus on what change we're, you're thinking of or trying to bring about. And I suppose there is a fine line sometimes between upskilling, which I think is really, really important. Learning how to run an organization is not everybody starts with organizational skills or management skills. A lot of people start with just a passion and not to let that put you off starting the journey. So finding the balance between upskilling, learning something new about uh, finding a sustainable solution but also keeping the core of the motivation and the passion and the and what's driving you as a social entrepreneur to bring about the change you want to see.